Hundreds of Muslims from across Texas are rallying on the steps of the Capitol today, but they are not the only group with a major presence. Members of the Patriot Defense Foundation came to air their opposition to Texas Muslim Capitol Day and gave you Tina Shively's live at the Capitol with the very latest. Tina, very tense situation there. That's right, Brian and Yvonne, good morning to you. There are actually DPS troopers on scene forming a physical barrier, a line between the two groups in order to make sure that everything stays okay and safe out there this morning. Now, the Council on American Islamic Relations says their goal today is to benefit Texans statewide by urging lawmakers to support issues that affect people of all faiths. After this morning's rally, they will meet with lawmakers to discuss several pieces of legislation, including House Bill 670, a so-called anti-foreign law bill. It's also known as the Sharia law bill. That's a code of strict rules practiced by Muslims. And this is the one that's gaining protest from the members of the Patriot Defense Foundation. Take a listen. The moment that you allow uh, Sharia law to be involved, you're opening Pandora's box. That's going to set a precedence. It saddens me, and it saddens me because I think that this is something that in the in this country, in the past, it has never ended well when people have protested against people of a certain religion. This biennial event, Texas Muslim Capital Day, has been going on since 2003. Members of the Council on American Islamic Relations say they also plan to discuss support of the DREAM Act, two bills requiring law enforcement to wear body cameras, and also a bill prohibiting courts from interpreting religious law when they meet with lawmakers this afternoon. Now, the number of participants in Texas Muslim Capital Day is expected to swell to close to 1,000 people. Again, DPS troopers are on the scene here keeping the peace. My colleague Mark Wiggins is also here. He will have the latest tonight on KV News 5 and 6. Reporting live at the state capitol, Tina Shively, KV News Midday.